airports. How long should folks expect these sort of cancellations? I don't think there's any reason to think that these cancellations are going to stop before the holiday travel period end. The number of TSA agents out tripled in the last week. Now more than 1,700 off the job with COVID. And the FAA today in a statement saying traffic volume at some facilities could be reduced, noting an increase in the number of its employees testing positive. All this as a massive winter storm system sweeps across the country. Snow and sleep making its way to the Midwest overnight, expected to barrel down on key airport hubs from Denver to Dallas and Chicago. Look, expect the worst, but hope for the best. You will likely find delays. You will likely have your flight canceled. A rocky start to the new year for thousands of travelers. And Vaughn joins us now. Vaughn, what are the airlines doing to try to clear this logjam of flights? Peter, United just today began offering its pilots triple pay for any extra legs they fly in January. These airlines are under increasing pressure due to these positive cases within their own crews. Peter? Vaughn Hilliard at New York's LaGuardia Airport tonight. Uh, Vaughn, thank you. On Wall Street, it was a losing day, but a winning year. Stocks closed lower on this final day of 2021. But all three major indices finished the year with double-digit gains. The Dow up nearly 19%, the NASDAQ more than 21%, and the S&P posting a gain for the year of nearly 20 Continues. There's no better place for fun with friends. Quality time. Breaking news tonight, guilty. The verdict just announced in the case of Ghislaine Maxwell, the close confidant of Jeffrey Epstein, now convicted of luring young women to be sexually abused by the now deceased millionaire. The British socialite found guilty on five counts after her accusers took the stand. The highest daily rate of COVID in the U.S. ever. States calling up the National Guard to help. Nearly a third of New York City's EMS workers out sick. But even as cases skyrocket, hospitalizations haven't yet. The new data that Omicron is likely less severe than Delta and new information from the CDC on when people are most contagious. Most of your transmission potential happens in those one to two days before you have symptoms. Holiday travel nightmare. Nearly 1,000 flights canceled today. The massive pileup in Wisconsin as severe weather begins to roll through the southeast. High stakes call. President Biden set to talk with Vladimir Putin tomorrow as fears grow that Russia will invade Ukraine. Why did the Russian president request the call? Truly free returns. The secret policy at some major retailers that lets you keep the item you want to give back and the refund. This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Good evening, I'm Kristen Welker in for Lester. After the death of Jeffrey Epstein, the world has watched and waited as a jury deliberated for days about what would happen to his confidant, Ghislaine Maxwell. Tonight, they have found her guilty on five of six counts, including sex trafficking of minors. Let's get right to Ron Allen, who is outside the courthouse. Tonight, after six days of deliberation, a jury found Ghislaine Maxwell guilty of five out of six federal charges including sex trafficking of minors, which is the most serious and carries up to 40 years behind bars. The road to justice has been far too long, but today justice has been done. Throughout the three week trial, prosecutors calling two dozen witnesses. The heart of their case, four women who say they were recruited, groomed and lured by Maxwell when they were teenagers so they could be sexually abused by Jeffrey Epstein. The prosecution calling Maxwell Epstein's partner in crime saying Epstein was able to sexually abuse young girls because Maxwell was the key to the whole operation. Jurors were reminded that she lived with him for years and was even referred to as the lady of the house. Prosecutors tying the pair by showing pictures of them together throughout the years, adding Maxwell received more than $30 million from Epstein during the years her alleged crimes were committed. The defense trying to discredit the four women, questioning their memory, telling jurors they were coerced by attorneys and motivated by money. Epstein took his own life behind bars in 2019, but his presence looming over the courtroom. The defense reminded the jury to separate Maxwell from the disgraced financier, saying Ghislaine Maxwell is not Jeffrey Epstein. Adding, she's been tried here for being with Jeffrey Epstein. Maybe that was the biggest mistake of her life, but that was not a crime. 
The jury felt otherwise, and the crimes they deemed her guilty of tonight could leave the 60-year-old in prison for the rest of her life. Maxwell was taken directly back to prison. She'll be sentenced at a later date. She also still faces two counts of perjury, and prosecutors must decide whether they'll